Hi guys and welcome to this video and today we are in London and we are in um, this plane uh, or helicopter may I actually say the um, Bell 429 so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the battery on and put all the lights on bright and then I'm gonna run through the uh, start which is pretty easy you just flick that there and start the engine I'm going to get the lights on and I'm going to limit the RPM to 104 and then put the fan on air conditioning and make it nice and warm because it's quite chilly in London. Uh, we've got it started so I'm now going to flip the right. And uh, while we can get to go on, I'm just going to switch on the autopilot and then so I'm going to switch on the uh, trim as well. Now I'm going to put this off to the side, put your nose to one. And there we are, there you have it. And put generator one on, wait till that screen's on and ready. And we're now ready to go. Uh, just double check if everything's fine. Yep, and off we go. Taxi over. So uh, this is the River Thames, uh, and that. We are at the moment we are in Battersea. So over there you can see that big uh, building that's the Battersea Power Station uh, and is now flat. Uh, and recently London has been doing a lot with uh, building flats, etc. Uh, London is famous for its bridges. Uh, it has a lot of bridges and we'll be definitely going to some of those bridges in this video. So I'm now just going to turn the plane and um, we'll visit one of London's most famous sites um, and yes, that site is um, Wembley Stadium um, So if you're new to Simply Simulation, uh, welcome uh, and on this channel we just do simulation of uh, all the popular simulation games uh, there we are, we've got a, not sure what over there, but uh, as you can see, we just, uh, you might be able to see Wembley Stadium up ahead now. This area over here is uh, Wembley, uh, and it's named after, the stadium's named after the area, and uh, it's a very nice area, uh, a lot of redevelopment going on in recent years, uh, and a lot of people uh, live here. Now, uh, I'm just going to release the auto throttle. So over there ahead, uh, there is Wembley Stadium, and uh, to there, um, that stadium over there is the QPR Stadium, and that is Shepherd's Bush. And then this is the railway station over there, and I think that should lead into Paddington Station, where Paddington Bear came from, and that's where you get um, direct uh, train to London Heathrow Airport. Right. Here is Wembley Stadium. So I'm just going to fly up alongside it and take a look. There's Wembley Stadium.
and just have a look out this window there it is and that is where a lot of uh, British football matches international matches have been held um, so we're going to start heading uh, east now and I will point out the sites along the way This is a freeware scenery if anyone's interested, um, but you have to delete the uh, London Landmarks default folder first because um, otherwise you'll get over there. Um, so we're heading towards the city of London where I'll point out some of the most famous skyscrapers and uh, other things of interest. Uh, but while we're on our way, um, I've got a couple of other sites I'd like to show to you. But before I can confirm them, I just want to look at my AV tab. Again, a free plugin, just to so see where we are. Um, so we're just going to have a look at Hampstead Heath first. And Hampstead Heath is a very famous uh, grange and it's a very wild area of London where a lot of people go uh, just to get a taste for nature and it's a park, it's not so much a park, more of a heath I guess uh, and it's uh, yeah, just a really nice place. Uh, so just bring up the AV tab again and put it down there there we are right uh, and then London's getting quite a lot of high rise development over there as you see that over there that is Lord's Cricket Ground that is where I think England won the Rugby World uh, Cricket World Cup Uh, here we are, uh, and on this side of the aircraft is uh, Hampstead Heath, which is one of London's many parks. Right, so we're going to bring the uh, helicopter around. Uh, beneath us now is. Um, Green Park, uh, and as you see, there's a, a circle inside it directly where we're heading, and that is the inner circle. And then there's a bigger road that goes around it, very good for cycling, which is the outer circle. Uh, I cycle along there, and live in London, born in London, hopefully die in London, and um, yeah. Uh, I go cycling there quite often. Over here we have a Paddington station and this is where all those trains we saw earlier go. I just thought that would be a good thing to point out. Release the anti torque and take the aircraft around. So, as you see, the city of London is right ahead, uh, and that is where we will be going. The BT Tower is uh, also a site, and that should be around about there. Uh, there used to be a restaurant at the top of it in its early days, um, but now it's mainly just a site.
Okay, uh, out the window, just some general high rise. I don't know if any are particularly significant. And uh, I'm just going to move my AV tab and uh, move it further into the corner. Oh dear, dear, I should not have done that. But anyway, uh, I think that is Baker Street. And then we have a church out of that window. We're heading back west now. And as you see that large body of water in front, that is a Hyde Park. And that is the Serpentine, that is where um, some swimming events were held during the London 2012 Olympics and uh, I'll tell you a bit more about that later. Right, so here we are now. We are at the Houses of Parliament and Westminster Bridge. So I'll fly down and uh, then I'll take you guys back around. As you see, uh, we're not too far from where we started um, in the Battersea Power Stations over there. Okay, oh dear. Right. That wasn't the best. Uh, over there, uh, that building was featured in James Bond Skyfall, uh, and it was the head of MI6, and it was um, blown up. Yes. Uh, and uh, James Bond and M sat in a car along that bridge right over there. Okay, so there we are. Just gonna go down a bit lower. So there we have it. That is the Houses of Parliament. And uh, Westminster Abbey. Uh, there we are. Houses of Parliament and right behind Westminster Abbey. On this side of the aircraft we have the London Eye. Uh, yep, the London Eye. Uh, I'm just going to keep flying down until we reach the City of London, and I'll see if there's anything else that I want to point out to you. Some of these uh, buildings have become a bit warped, um, but that's fine, I suppose. Right, there we have on this side of the aircraft we have St. Paul's Cathedral. Uh, and now we are now in the city of London. So uh, all the buildings have official names and nicknames. Well, all Londoners only know them by their nicknames, pretty much. Right, so what have I got to say about these? So uh, that one that is kind of almost leaned against that other building, that is the cheese grater. Yep, and uh, the cheese grater is officially the uh, Leadenhall building, but it's properly known as the cheese grater. Uh, we've got the gherkin next to that, and we've got one heron keys, I think, also next to that. Uh, there's a lot of interesting buildings. Uh, and then their funny designs. As always, the nicknames have uh, the uh, new buildings are unfortunately looking a bit bland and uh, just being square and trying to get as much money as they can. Uh, 
uh, that is the black hen and that is the leaden hen. Directly ahead is the Shard and that is near Waterloo um, Station. Uh, also if we descend that bridge over there is the Millennium Bridge also known as the Wobbly Bridge because when it was first built at the turn of the Millennium uh, it had issues with wobbling um, when too many people and I think it wasn't safe so it was fixed and is now an integral part of crossing the river in London. Just gonna descend a bit. So over in there we have the Shard, a uh, tallest building in Western Europe. Uh, and it's a very good building as well. Uh, you can get a ticket to go to the top of it, which I've done personally before and it's really good. Um, there's also HMS Belfast over there in the water um, opposite um, City Hall. And HMS Belfast was a um, World War II boat uh, and uh, on upon being retired, it was converted into a floating museum. Uh, that building over there we are directly looking at is a city hall and that is where the Mayor of London works. Over there is Tower Bridge. Uh, not much to say about that except from it's Tower Bridge. Um, a thing which American bought London Bridge which is not the same as Tower Bridge by accident thinking it was Tower Bridge. Um, yep and he must have been pretty disappointed when he found out London Bridge is quite a bland Victorian bridge. Um, but anyway, Tower Bridge was built to allow people to cross the river and uh, back in the days, this whole river that we're looking at was an industrial um, port essentially and uh, by blocking it with, uh, yeah, blocking it with a um, bridge would have been terrible for business. We're now heading towards Bermondsey and as you see that um, sports ground um, over there is, um, I'm actually not sure, I think it should be Crystal Palace. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that's Crystal Palace but don't hold me to account on that. And to talk and bring the helicopter back around. This would be very dangerous in real life uh, and we'd never get permission to do this. Okay, just uh, head towards the city of London. So that's the city of London, but over here, this is completely different. Uh, this is Canary Wharf and this is where a lot of the banking has been done previously. And uh, actually, I'll correct myself, the banking is still done. Directly ahead as well in that stadium, that is the Olympic Stadium, West Ham United play there now. But that is the Olympic Stadium and that is where the Olympic events were held. Right, so Canary Wharf. Uh, nothing much to say except it is the banking district of London and uh, mostly high profile transactions for a lot of things go on right there in Canary Wharf so uh, it's invaluable to the city and it's uh, functioning. Uh, directly ahead as well as the Millennium Dome as well, uh, like the Millennium Bridge, built at the turn of the millennium. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, uh, stayed since, it was meant to be taken back down, but it has stayed as um, a 
um, shopping more and there's a lot of shops and just general things of interest in there. You can walk over the top um, of the dome. Uh, as well to the right of the helicopter, there's funny things in the water, the Thames Barrier, and that is stopping uh, London from flooding. Um, yep, and that should protect us from climate change until 2040, um, which is good, but I mean, obviously that's not a solution to protecting ourselves in the long run, but um, it's definitely a good thing to have. Um, we're going to take a landing at London City Airport now, uh, and mainly for private jets and small aircraft, but uh, I'm sure we could land here without too much problem. Decrease the throttle, increase the throttle, tiny movements like I struggle landing helicopters. On the beer. Uh, so we are safely on the ground in London City Airport. I'm going to go ahead and kill the engine. Uh, you can just watch the replay of that landing. And you see, I just uh, hover that seat over there. Until I probably dropped it a bit uh, at the wrong time, but that is fine. And there we are, just put those and take off all of our lights. Landing lights off. and uh, take the battery off so thanks for watching uh, and please remember to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button